Want to know what four comics I'm going to be sending to get graded this month? Just stick around, and your answers will be answered, if that makes any sense. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and today... I am going to show the four key issue comics that I will be sending out to get graded this month by PGX. And I am looking forward to getting those done. Now, a little update with that. There is a delay in their services right now. So keep that in mind if you are thinking about sending anything to them. They're waiting for their cases to arrive. They said sometime mid-March is the last I heard. So I haven't even gotten back two months worth of my graded comics. It is what it is. I'm not worried about it or anything. And from what I hear about the new cases, they're even better. So if you want something better, sometimes you got to wait for it. And I'm okay with that. Whether you are or not, I leave that up to you because this channel isn't about telling you what to do. It's just saying what I like to do. First comic that we are going to show, and of course... I show the comics, I give you my idea of what I believe the grade should come back as. Doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, but um, it will come back eventually, and I will do videos where I do live unboxings. So here is the first one I will be sending out. Uh, this is a book I've wanted for a long time. It was one of my books that got stolen years ago, but um, it took me a long time to get... Basically, a lot worse version of what I originally had, but hey, sometimes you got to go by something's better than nothing. I remember buying this back in the 80s, and I probably spent no more than $8 on the book, and it was probably a 6 or a 7.0 book. But this is Green Lantern issue number 7. This is the first appearance of Sinestro, so this is definitely a key book to get. It's a Silver Age book. Um, it does have a color break increase here. And here, so when you have a color break increase all the way down the, the spine, well, not the spine, but the center of the book, it's called, what they call it is a subscription crease. And the highest grade it could get is a 5.0, but I don't think it's going to hit that high. Um, I paid a total of only $94.99 for this book. So basically it could come back uh, a 0 0.5, and I would have basically paid what the current value is for that. But obviously this is a lot better than a 0 0.5. I'm saying it's probably going to be around the 3.5 to 4.5 range with off-white pages. So that's the first book. If you don't own, the, own this book, it's definitely hard to get cheap. But like I show here, because I only got this about a year ago, you can find deals. So as always, I teach people to be patient. All right. This one is another book I've recommended. This is one of my higher grade books. I cannot wait to see what grade this comes at, back as. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 17. Uh, this is a key issue. It's a minor key because it is the second appearance of Green Goblin, but it is the first time you see him with his glider. And plus, you know, any of the top 20, uh, the first 20 books in Amazing Spider-Man are pretty much were almost all worth getting. A lot of key issues, a lot of first appearances. So uh, this book is in amazing condition, no pun intended. Um, there are no ticks at all down the spine. The only quote-unquote problem I see is there are two um, basically dent lines here. You can't even see them. They do not break color. So a pressing is going to get rid of those or at least diminish them. So it does go across here and here. But again, as you can see, they do not break color. So that's where pressings are absolutely a must. So I made sure I wrote on the back because my, I got a deal with PGX where I give that intro for 10 seconds or less. It's like five second intro and they allow me to send four books in and that includes signature verification, uh, any different age of comic book, anywhere from modern age to golden age. It includes the pressings and dry cleanings as well. So it's a deal I can't pass up on. But I paid a total of $263.65 for this book, which is a great deal considering um, I'm going to predict a little lower to this one because I'm not sure, you know, with the pressing, how much it's going to increase it. So I'm going to be conservative on this one, but I have a feeling it's going to be higher than what I'm predicting. But I'm going to say around a 7.0 to an 8.5 range. I would not be shocked if this came back in the 9 range because of the fact, again, 
these make me a little nervous, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But they don't break color, so um, I don't want to overgrade it. I'd rather undergrade it and be pleasantly surprised in the upward way than have it the other way around. So I'm going to stay relatively um, conservative on this one. I mean, it, the book is flat. The colors, as you could see, pop. Um, no coupons, nothing wrong. The inside of the book, centerfold, and the cover pages, the staples are perfect. Uh, this is one I got as a steal. So um, this one is white pages, and one of the ones I'm looking forward to seeing what it comes back as. All right, next up, these are lower grades, but like I've said numerous times, and I want to preach this to many people who love collecting comics, low grade is better than no grade, because if you're waiting for a high grade you can never afford, well, you'll never have it. So what benefit do you get out of that? But this is probably my fifth or sixth copy of this book. I was getting these years ago when nobody was talking about the Fantastic Four, thanks to that wonderful movie that came out. And of course, I am saying that sarcastically. But that led to major dips, and it made for what I consider a buying opportunity. Now, I didn't, I bought this one, I think, last year. So uh, it's higher than what I would have paid a couple of years ago. But hey, I still paid below what it's valued as. Of course, this is Fantastic Four number 48, which is the first full appearance of Silver Surfer and the first cameo appearance of Galactus. So two major players who are now on their way to becoming part of the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I cannot wait until both of them show up. Um, I hope they do one and then another that make it even better. But hey... I'm looking forward to it regardless. Uh, this is a lower um, grade book. You can see there's a lot of color breaks along the spine. There is tape on the inside of this book. But in lower grade, that doesn't really affect it. Because, I mean, you can have books in the 5 and 6 range with tape on it. So that really doesn't lower the grade too much. But you can see there's a little rip here. There might have been maybe a price tag or something. Or the tape got stuck on it. And they yanked it. A couple of color breaks here and there. Uh, again, a pressing and dry cleaning will help this book. Um, I paid a total of $356, which is lower than what the current rate is for a 0 0.5. So even though this is a low grade, again, this is not going to come back a 0 0.5. Um, I'm predicting it's going to be around the 2.0 to 3.0 range with creamed off-white pages. So um, this is another book I tell people all the time, if you can get it, even in a 0 0.5 at this point, because you haven't seen the potential of that book as far as price rising yet. All right, the fact that I got one copy of this totally amazes me. The fact that I was able to acquire a second one a year later just blows my mind. So I cannot wait to get this one graded. And a lot of times I get stuff graded just to preserve it, especially with lower grades. You want to be very careful because not for nothing with this day and age, if you want to read a comic book, you can get a reader copy. You can get a digital copy. You could watch somebody's YouTube channel. There's always somewhere to uh, see a book. So I don't want to ruin the classic books because once it's destroyed, that's one less. And I don't want to do that. So this is my second copy of Amazing Spider-Man, issue number two, first appearance of the Vulture, um, early Spider-Man appearance. I mean, to me, this is absolutely, um, and I'll use the word amazing, but as you can see, there is pieces missing here. There's a little piece missing here. There's a couple of color breaks. The staples are intact. There's a piece missing here and along the top here and a little bit on the bottom, but it is complete. Uh, the centerfold is intact. Uh, this one, I might, made sure, and I tell people all the time to do this if you're getting it graded to any grading company. Um, I made sure I wrote here, it says, Comic Delicate, please handle with care. So I don't assume that somebody opening this to grade it or taking it out of the bag and board are going to treat it the way I would. So they may not even know it's a fragile book. And if they, you know, are careless when they come and take it out of the bag and board... All of a sudden, they could pop a staple, and that's going to end up affecting and lowering my grade. So overdo it when it comes to protecting your comics when you mail them, and don't forget to leave little notes like that. And I always include, when I write out the slip and send it out, I always include a little thank you note. You know, sometimes appreciation and positivity goes a long way, so try and do that. You'd be amazed at how people will go the extra mile when you're actually nice to them and not abusive. But I paid... Only $335 for this book. 
Again, that is a price below the 0.5 value. You notice a trend here. Um, I always wait for deals, and you will find them even on key issues. I mean, Amazing Spider-Man number two is not a cheap book. To get a book like this for that price, and the funny part is the other one I got graded, I think it came back a 1.8. I paid $206 for and the reason I even paid that much is by accident. I was ready to do the, you know, the bid at the last second, and I hit it too early by mistake. I guess I was a little too eager, and um, somebody else had time to make one more bid. So I probably would have won that one for about 170 if it wasn't for that little mistake. But 206, not going to complain. So um, again, I paid 335, which is definitely not a bad price for this comic. I'm going to predict a lower grade, of course. Around a 1.5 to a 2.5 range. The fact that everything's intact is going to keep it in the mid to high ones, early to mid twos. But uh, this also, I'm going to say, around off-white pages. But a book I cannot wait to get back. And I, I have this to preserve it. I mean, as you can see, this is not a 9.8. There are parts to this where, obviously, somebody, a bunch of people maybe, or even one person, loved it so much that they read it to the point where it started falling apart. So I want to keep that from continuing. And that's one of the reasons why I get my books graded. I don't grade, I don't grade them to turn around and sell them for a profit. That's why many people use CGC, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just because you have a preference of a company doesn't make you good or bad or anything like that. I choose to get these slabs where eventually I may sell them because, you know, you can always pop them out if you think you can get a better deal when they're ungraded as opposed to graded. But in the meantime, I like them protected. So that's the main reason why I do it. And if I'm only doing it basically to get them protected, why would I spend more? when I could spend less. To me, it's just a no-brainer. So those are the four books. We got Amazing Spider-Man number two, Fantastic Four number 48, high-grade Amazing Spider-Man 17, and last but not least, Green Lantern number seven. So I will get these back eventually. Like I said, PGX right now is waiting for their new um, cases, so it is going to be a delay in these, but I'm not worried about that at all. And um, maybe that means... Um, I'll have eight of them to show you instead of four the next time when they send these out. So we'll see what happens. So those are the books. If you like these kind of videos and you want to see more of them, check out my playlist. There's plenty of them that you could see from the past. All the ones that I did get, um, I did the live unboxings where I won't know the grade until I unbox them with you. I love that. So you're seeing a live reaction. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. Don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you're one of my power viewers... Um, let me know that you stayed until the end, and if you did, don't ask me why this is so close to here, but this is clear um, base coat for nails. I don't use it, but um, it's there. So, if you're one of my power viewers, and you were kind enough to watch until the end, make sure you put that in the comment section. Proudly display the fact that you watch entire videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the share button. Just stay away from your belly button because that may make people look weird at you, especially if you're on the bus. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. I will see you next video. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.